Okay, let's see now how to create a workflow. I'm in workflows. I will click in add a workflow. Here on the left, I can set the name workflow. Work. workflow 28th of april okay i can add some tags here which makes it easier to to find because uh, this if you this if the, you use this for a company you could have i don't know hundreds of workflows so you can create tags uh, marketing you know so that then it becomes uh, much more easy to Sorry, marketing, yeah. Marketing, it becomes easier to find the workflow. If I come here and I write marketing, no, sort by filters, filter by tags here, okay? You click marketing and you have some sort of um, filtering system to find the workflows faster. Okay, to go inside the workflow, I click and now I'm in the workflow. If I want to go to a different workflow, I click and I go to another workflow. Okay, that's quite simple. You see, I go work workflow, workflows, right. Um, inside the workflow, what is important? Uh, I will show you now, this video is going to be basically about shortcuts, keyboard shortcuts and how to, how to move with this canvas. Okay, and the shortcuts are... Um, Workflows are made out of nodes and nodes that are connected with other nodes. What are nodes? We can create a node uh, either clicking here, okay, and you will see on the right menu, the, um, on the right, this is the right the place where we can find the nodes, or we can click here and we get to the same menu, okay? So there are different types of nodes, nodes that are scheduled, that are triggered Triggered means that they start, okay, with a webhook call and, and workflows related with uh, events that uh, happen with the different apps that they have available. Um, I'm not going to look now at all the nodes available. As you can see, there are hundreds, you see, and they are like alphabetically ordered because now I only want to focus on how to move around with the canvas. So I don't know, I'll create, I'll, for example, get an event of uh, uh, manually, okay, one that is about uh, clicking, and I will connect this node with, uh, I can, f with Google Docs, okay, Google Docs, I select this node, great, look, how to move a node around, like this, okay, you click and you move it, uh, does it affect in the, work, in the performance of the workflow, to that the node it's here. This is a node, eh? each one of these boxes, it's a node. How can be a node uh, interpreted? I don't know, a piece of logic that interacts with some external API, a piece of uh, a block of, in, if you are a programmer, a good way to think about this could be a function, a class, you know, some, some piece of logic that is doing some specific task, okay? Um, no, it doesn't affect in any way if the node is like this or if it's like this, only affects visually, but the the position in the canvas, this is the canvas, doesn't affect at all, okay? So click, we move it. Um, to create more, more nodes, we can also do it by here. So I now, I will add a, a Google Sheet and I keep, and can, uh, I'm, this is the the node inside, okay? How we see the node from in the inside. If we click here back to canvas, we go back to the canvas. I click here, took two times, and I go inside the node. Only one click, the node is selected. You see that this gray area, this means that this node is selected. If I select this one, okay, only one click, then this is uh, a node selected. If I want to go inside the node, double click, right? Okay. Um, okay. Um, do you see <coughs> the, the arrow between nodes? <coughs> well, I created one more node. I'll, I'll create several. The, this is now not making sense. It's just so that you see how to move around. Um, these nodes, are, these are three nodes. I'll create an isolated node of uh, Google Drive. Google Drive. Okay. This node, it's 
I will break the link. Okay, I break this link. Look, this is a, this is how we break links between nodes. Okay, now this this long node has no link, and I'll put it here, and I'll connect this node with this node. We will see what it means the connections. Okay, selecting the the um, circle and the, the rectangle. The rectangle part it's the input. Okay, it's what gets inside the node. And the circle is what gets out or output. Okay, so I'll do the same. Okay, now Control C, Control V. If I select the node and I do Control C and then Control V, I copy and paste the node, right? I can do it with several nodes. For example, if I select like this, I select like this. You need to; they need to be fully inside the rectangle that you are selecting. Look at this. Now I have one, two, three nodes selected. Control C, Control B, and here I have. I am okay. Now I will delete all these three nodes. I do this, and so the the keyboard uh, of delete. Okay, the delete keyboard of your keyboard is how you delete the node, or individually clicking here on the bin. Great. What else? How to move the canvas around? And you select control in your in your keyboard and you see the hand okay when you click control your mouse becomes a hand you see I'm clicking control and when you when you have the hand you can move it and when you click the um, control you can move it around okay great how do I move up and down I can uh, do it with the mouse with the scroll okay with the scroll I'm going up and down and if I want to zoom in and zoom out it's with control in my keyboard and zoom and the scroll so control now I'm zooming out zooming in believe me that this is important because when nodes become complicated sorry when workflows become complicated with several nodes it's good to know how to move around otherwise this becomes very this, it, it's not that useful the, the more you are familiar with moving around the workflows and uh, interacting with this, that's the power. The power of NA10 is that because at the end of the day, what I'm going to do, a programmer, I'm also a programmer, could do it with code. I mean, it's not, this is not inventing nothing new. Like whatever the, um, with code, plain code, you could do, you could achieve the same. Where NA then it's brilliant, it's in the fact that this way of doing it, okay, so it's more visual, more comfortable, more convenient. You go faster. Normally you go faster. So that's why. So it's good to get used to all of this. What else? Um, these buttons is this is when we execute the workflow that now we're not, we're not doing it. Here we can pause it. It sorry, deactivated means that the what this workflow becomes invisible okay for example this workflow now if i deactivate or activate this work what comes from the left will be executed now will be completely ignored okay um duplicate node but, but we can achieve the same with ctrl c ctrl v and when we want to execute a node from here and not from the beginning we click here now nothing will happen this is an error because there is no data but just remember that um what else uh, well here in the um, well save yeah of course when we're working with when we are working with a node we need to save we click save now the node is saved if we don't click save what the work that we have done will be lost okay um, and I think that's pretty much well you can achieve ah yes and do and redo here you can also do the zoom in and zoom out here on the, the bottom right or you can uh, center this is to center okay you click here and you center zoom in zoom out okay do and undo and redo here we reset the zoom. Okay, that's reset the zoom. But now imagine that I'm doing something. Okay, the, I will close this error. I am uh, I'm doing something, and I want to undo that. It is like many programs. Control Z. 
You see, control C, you undo the previous step. Great. I want to redo it. It's in control minus Z or control Y. Okay, control Y also. And you redo it. Um, I think that's all we need. Yeah, I recommend you to play a little bit. For example, I will connect, I will break this connection. I will make it again. Now I make this connection here. I select, okay, if I, I can select several nodes like this, or if I want to select with the keyboard, I just do control and I select many. Okay, you see, I'm clicking now control and I'm selecting several nodes, right? right? And um, if I want to delete all of these nodes, now I delete them all. I want to undo it. Control Z. Please get familiar with this. I will put them on now in a in a table so that you try to at least memorize or practice with all, practice with all of these key, keyboards because they are key in order to be fast. And being fast is the key to making uh, to taking advantage of the tool. Yeah, I forgot another one. Control A. Control A is to select all the nodes and. Um, and uh, control X, when I, when I have a, a node selected, control X, it's to cut that node. Okay, control X, control V, control C, it's copy, control X, it's cut. Okay, this is the table that more or less with this, these are the, on the left, the shortcuts, and in the right, the actions. Okay, um, so I'll leave this in the description of this, um, of this uh, video so that if you need it uh, uh you it's good to memorize it it's not so difficult at the end of the day more of, most of the shortcuts are the same ones that you could use in any other program <clears throat> okay but um yes please get familiar because getting familiar with this or not it's the difference between being fluent or not with na10 <laughs> and uh, not being flu and if you are not going to learn at least some of them or the most important then the, the whole the whole tutorial becomes kind of ir irrelevant because um, it's not as important as knowing how, how to do something it is to do it fast quickly and efficient so i'll leave the this in the check on the descriptions and you can get this uh, this file